So it turns out that Ken cheated on me with a brat doll. <laughs> hey, Phil. <gasps> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be making videos. I keep saying this. I keep doing the same thing. I'm so excited to be back, and then I I go away for like a month. Uh, but I am back, right? I think I am. I just moved to California two months ago, and I was so determined to make more vlogs about my California life, and then I realized that I was just spending every day editing videos all day and never leaving the house. Um, and I've been doing a lot of fun things, and I've been wanting to vlog, but I've just been so tired, exhausted. And let me tell you, being a, a, a creator is a fun job, but it is exhausting. Okay, I would take this over waiting tables any day, but you never really get the day off. Like, even days that you have off, you're still thinking about videos you're gonna make and recording content just for when you need it. Oh my god, but I, I, I'm i very grateful, and I'm very grateful for every single one of you. I just, <laughs> going a little crazy. Anyway, I love living here so far. I've been lied to by all of New York. I grew up in New York, and I moved you know, 3,000 miles away. So everyone in New York would always tell me, oh my God, Los Angeles is a terrible place. It's terrible. The people are terrible. <laughs> the people are so fake and the traffic is bad. And like, mm, like the people can be just as fake in New York. You know, like, do I have food in my teeth? Like, okay, I'm good. But anyway, I have a lot of... <laughs> Today I'm going grocery shopping and running errands. Oh my God, there's so many thoughts in my head. Anyway, oh, fly. You know, that's disrespectful when a fly flies into your house. And they get in, they're like, oh my god, let me out. I'm like, you were begging to come in here five seconds ago. Disrespect. And that cat. That cat has been coming around. If you watch my TikTok vlogs, there's been a cat that's been literally trying to break in my house. And I made a video about it, kind of like making fun of the fact that, like, oh my god, someone's trying to break in my house and it's really just a cat. But imagine this. Imagine you're home. You know no one else is with you. And you hear somebody messing with your lock and trying to unlock the door. Automatically, you're thinking, That's, this is it. This is when I die. Like, someone's trying to break into my house right now. Cat, cats are freaking scary, man. I don't understand how cats climb. It's like, oh yeah, the grip. Mm. Simulation. Like I said before, I love living here so far. I want to make more vlogs about my life here in Los Angeles. And today, I'm going to go grocery shopping. I'll take you guys with me. I'll show you what I get in a week. I've been trying to be frugal with my money. I have a lot of financial goals going forward. And just eating at home and learning how to cook more meals is much more sustainable. I also want to learn how to make a, a vegan broccoli cheddar soup because I, I keep seeing them on TikTok and then my sister makes a really good one. So I just woke up the other day, I was like, I need broccoli cheddar soup. I don't know where to get it, but I, I'm gonna have to make it. And I've been learning how to cook. I made, oh my God, I made a vegan truffle pasta, vegan gluten-free truffle pasta, and it was really good. Was, I'm really bad at cooking, but I'm learning one step at a time and I'll learn with you guys. You can learn with me. My grandma was like the best chef in the world. It's really hard to compare my cooking to hers. Sorry, grandma. I was actually asked at one point to be on Worst Cooks of America, but I was literally almost on the show. And then they realized like, oh, like because you're vegan, you have so many allergies, it wouldn't really work out because you know, you, God forbid you have to make a shrimp dish and you are allergic to it, it's not gonna work. So I'm like, Ugh. Anyway, let's go to the store, but first I wanna make a smoothie and then we'll hit the road. Come on, Joshua, let's go. Okay, so what they don't tell you when you first move to LA is that you're legally required to be a smoothie bitch. I was a coffee bitch, and while I'll, I do like a good decaf coffee because I can't have regular caffeine for obvious reasons because I'm a little crazy, I'm now a smoothie bitch. I, I never realized how easy it was to make smoothies. Oh, oh my god! So, frozen fruit at Trader Joe's is like two bucks for this. Ooh, you know what? This is a lot more than I realized it was. Oh, shit. Whatever, we're gonna make it work. Then, I like to use this coconut milk from Trader Joe's, and I'm gonna fill to where it says max. If you wanna get crazy, you can add a little bit of bloom. You add that, now I have my smoothie mixture, and we're gonna blend it. <gasps> oh no, oh! Okay, so that was like a little bit of a mess, but like, what can you do? I'm just like a crazy girl. <gasps> smoothie is done, let's drink this and hit the road. I'm not about that traffic light! Come on, ladies! It is so hot in this car right now, oh my god. Okay, anyway, our first stop is Walgreens because I ordered a microphone from Sweetwater. However, I, <laughs> the other day, <gasps> There she is, that bitch! That's the cat that keeps trying to break into my freaking house. She's staring at me. She's so weird. She's trying to... <gasps> she hurts me. There's something off about that cat. That's not a... that's something different about that. Anyway, let's go, Cece. So I got my microphone. It's in a huge box. I don't know why the box is this big, but I got it. Let's go grocery shopping and let's go to Walmart! You know what pisses me off? I was walking past a, a parking spot and this girl's looking at me, she's trying to get in the spot like, I see seven other open spots, bitch. There's no reason why you have to be trying to get in the spot. Go to any other spot. Anyway, that's my rant for today. What is that? Is that the big cheese? No, it's a taco truck. Looks good though. All right, I'm distracted, let's go. 
Okay, so I made it to Walmart and I have to pee now. Um, I always have to pee the second I get to Walmart, but here we are. Let's go shopping. Oh, and I forgot there's a Blaze pizza over here. They have vegan gluten-free pizza that actually tastes really good. So I might have to go there for lunch to reward myself for buying groceries. Um, but we'll see. Let's go to Walmart and do I have my gift card? Yes, okay, let's go. Also a question, are you the kind of person that parks like a mile away just to not have to deal with other cars? Or do you park really close and then have to park next to everybody else? Let me know. I don't like to deal with other people in there. That was an experience. So I love Walmart. I got a bunch of stuff. You know, hot take. Walmart's clothes are way better than Target's. They fit better. They're nicer quality. The display of them isn't as nice. They have like, if you need a simple t-shirt, I just got a pair of sweatpants. I think Walmart's clothes are better. But, oh, was that lady a bitch? Oh my God. I, I was literally, every single time I go, they have all these fitting rooms and there's always a person assigned to work at the fitting rooms. And every time I'm like, hey, can I try this on? She's like, no. I'm sorry I asked. She's just hanging out. Why is there anybody there then? So I'm like literally in the aisle trying to try on clothes over what I have on, but I was successful. Now I'm gonna go to Blaze Pizza and then we're gonna go grocery shopping and then head back and then I'll show you what I got. <laughs> Once again, Blaze does it again. It was so good. Oh my God. It's so great being able to eat like re like a regular person and have regular person pizza. It was so good. I'm always like, oh, I'll just have half and then I'll save the rest for tomorrow. No, I ate the whole freaking thing, but it wasn't that big. I feel good now. Now I can go to the grocery store and not buy every single thing. If you go to the grocery store hungry, you buy more things than you need. And I did that last time. So this time I'm gonna buy what I need. I'm gonna try to buy the ingredients for my vegan broccoli cheddar soup. We'll see. I don't know how this is gonna work out. I've never made soup before in my life. In my life. The direction said 10 minutes and now it's 20. It's like in LA, it's it could it could be the time it says or it could be double. So just always leave an hour or two earlier than you'd like to be anywhere. But yeah, let's hit the road, bitch. Okay, just got out of Trader Joe's. I feel like they're trained to say certain stuff. Like every time they're always like, I love your top. I'm like, I'm not wearing a top. And last time I went, the, the cashier was like, oh my God, I love these. It was like, I knew they were new. It was like, you've had them? She goes, no. They're just like trained to say they like things when they don't. It's a scam. I still love Trader Joe's. I'm very happy. But my ice cream is gonna melt and it is hot in this car, baby. So let's go. I love you, Trader Joe's. I will be doing another parody on you soon because as much as I love you, it is an experience going there. Okay, let's go. Okay, fam. I made it out of Whole Foods alive. It's rush hour now. So let's get home and let's find out who wants to put money on how fast I can find a parking spot. Let me know. I'm gonna say within 10 minutes, but you let me know your guess. Thank you so much. Okay, so to my surprise, I found parking in 30 seconds. I forgot it's St. Patrick's Day, so I guess a lot of people are out. And it's also, I for, totally forgot about daylight savings. So it is gorgeous out, it's still sunny. Oh, honey, we're slang. Also, there's a part of me that gets like FOMO about being like St. Patrick's Day and me not going out. And then I remember I don't drink and then I feel more alone when I'm around people that drink. So I'm excited to get cozy tonight and unload my groceries. But yeah, let's go and load the stuff and I'm gonna show you what I got. My forehead grows by the minute. I can't get it off. <laughs> okay, so here's everything I got at, ooh, don't look over there. This is everything I got at Trader Joe's. What, $75 worth of, uh, so this is what $75 worth of stuff from Trader Joe's looks like. That's a lot of food. There's a lot going on. So let me show you what I got, what I usually get, and some stuff that I got that's new. So broccoli for my broccoli cheddar soup that I am trying to make. Potatoes for the broccoli cheddar soup that I am trying to make. We'll see how that goes, because I'm really not the best chef. I got two things of shiitake mushrooms. I like to saute these or bake these with some smoked paprika and salt and pepper. I like to use Chef Chloe's recipe for the shiitake bacon. And they had this Yuzu Ripple coconut non-dairy frozen dessert that I'm interested in trying. Then they had this limited time only okie dokie non-dairy frozen dessert. I got this last time and holy shit, it's so good. And I think it's, I think it is actually gluten-free. Yeah, it is gluten-free as well. What is it exactly? 
okie dokie flavor. That's very nondescript. A New Zealand inspired dessert with caramel swirl and sponge candy bits. Oh my God, this was so good. Vegan and gluten free. Yes, I actually got two of them this time because I don't want to be going to my local ice cream shop every other day when I need my ice cream fix. Then I actually got these corn ribs. So I'm going to try these and then to go with that, I got this organic Kansas City style barbecue sauce. Then I got these waffles. I also got waffles at Whole Foods, but yeah, I just get these as safety. Sometimes I just need a quick breakfast to just throw in the toaster and put, I have like a vegan strawberry cream cheese I put on. It's really good. I get these hash browns because they're like the McDonald's style hash browns. Again, this is like something if sometimes you just need a potato. So I just pop one of these <laughs> what am I getting? I pop two of these in the oven and eat those in the morning. It's the close. Oh my God. It's the closest thing to Dunkin'. There are no Dunkin's here. Nobody told me that. If there's a Dunkin', let me know. But I used to get like the Dunkin' hash browns. They don't have Dunkin' over here. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do without that. Anyway, frozen fruit. So these are the fruit, fruit frenzy bars. These are really good. Actually. I really like these. It's raspberry, lemon, and strawberry. Then this brown rice pasta from Trader Joe's. It's pretty good. It cooks pretty well. Uh, I've had a lot of brown rice pastas in my day, but this one doesn't taste to me like that grainy, pasty brown rice taste. This tastes, if you cook it the right way, you mix it with some olive oil while you're boiling it. While, excuse me. <laughs> if you mix it with olive oil while you're boiling it, it tastes like regular pasta. I got these coconut almonds. Oh, I was so excited they had these again. These are so good. This is like, if you needed something really sweet and you only wanted a couple of them, and you didn't want to eat a whole cake, this is good. This is a good alternative. So this is my one step towards a healthier future. Coconut flavored almonds, vegan and gluten free. Rice cracker medley with the nori wasabi bowls. These are so good. Vegetable broth for my soup that I'm trying to make. We'll see how that goes. I get this romaine lettuce for its lettuce. <laughs> and then these are good. These taste like Takis. I actually, I actually like these better than Takis. They're like not as hot, 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 but they still have that flavor to them. These are really good. It's the closest thing to a Dorito I can have. And yeah, vegan and gluten-free. Vegan and gluten-free kettle corn. I love this kettle corn. It has like a nice sweet kick to it. And I gave in again and I got this herbs and spices popcorn. I got the olive oil one last week and I'm like, this is not, has no flavor. So I got this one instead again. I got something called an onion. You should try it. It's amazing. It's amazing. And then I get about three things of coconut milk a week. Like I get two of the unsweetened and then one specifically, I use this for my coffee, maybe with a little bit of agave, but these two I'll use for smoothies and for any kind of sauce I make. Okay, so that was what I get at Trader Joe's. Now let me show you what I get for $100 at Whole Foods. Notice how much less it is, but there's like, again, most of my protein I get is from Whole Foods. So let me show you what I got. So this is what $100 looks like from Whole Foods. It's definitely less food, but again, things like Beyond Meat, I love because this makes four burgers. I could put this in salads, tacos. I could use this for a lot of stuff. Thank you, Hooray Bacon, for going back to your original recipe. This is my favorite vegan bacon brand. If you haven't tried, I really highly suggest it. Then I got the Kite Hill Queso. Then of course I got my Nugo bars. Sometimes you just gotta follow your heart. You gotta follow your heart. This is my one of my favorite Parmesans. Sometimes I make a truffle pasta with some olive oil and truffle oil, and then I'll just sprinkle this on top. I got this. I'm not really a cheddar bitch, but again, like I really wanna make the broccoli cheddar soup. So I'm gonna use this for the broccoli cheddar soup to see if it can melt in and make it more cheddary. I forgot to get avocados at Trader Joe's. So I got them at Whole Foods. It was like $3.99. It wasn't crazy. It was actually a pretty good price. Sometimes you just need a tot. What can I say? I ended up getting more waffles because these were only like three bucks again. So I was like, why don't I just get these instead? Vegan gluten-free dark chocolate chip waffles. These are so good. But I got the Sweet Lauren's. I keep wanting to say the Sophia Lauren's. Sweet Lauren's chocolate chip, vegan, gluten-free, chocolate chip, dairy-free, nut-free, allergen-friendly cookies. And then I got my Daring Vegan Chicken. I like to cut the, the pieces and put them in salads. That's how I like to eat them. Otherwise you could just eat them like nuggets and dip it in a sauce. But yeah, these are really good. We also have a grilled version of these, but I 
don't know, I just kind of like the bread. Oh. Then, uh, thank God I found this bread because I have been looking for a decent vegan gluten-free bread for a long time. This is the French gluten-free Cook's Sourdough Vegan and Gluten-Free Bread. It tastes pretty much like normal bread to me. The closest to normal bread, there is another brand called Odo's that I much prefer, but this, I like, this gets the job done. It makes a good grilled cheese. I got this grape cranberry juice. I've been making pink drinks and stuff. I realized that if you just add a little bit of juice to coconut milk, you could make any Starbucks drink at home for literally 25 cents versus $7. So I've been really into juices lately and I realized this lasts a long time. It's like six bucks, which I thought was a lot, but then I realized this lasted me like almost like three weeks to a month. It doesn't really go too bad. So I really like these juices. And last but not least, I got glow nuts. When things look cute, I'm like, oh, it's probably vegan. And it's colorful, looks a little gay. Like probably vegan's vegan. And I'm like, well, it must be gluten-free. And it is. I'm curious. Okay, so here's what they look like. There's three in a package. Ooh, it has a little pink. This is what it looks like. Sucked into a bagel. It's really dense. Let me try it. Mmm. Interesting texture. Lots of powder on there. Oh my god. I have to vacuum. This is good. I would definitely get this. I don't know if I'd get this again. I was like $7.99, I think. A little more than I would like to spend for three mini donuts. But it's cool to have the option sometimes when you're craving something and you know you can't get that both vegan and gluten free. Yeah. Overall, it's really good. The flavor is like really good. The texture is a little like oaty. And then I'm gonna put all my paper towels away and then I'll show you what I got at Walmart, all the cute clothes I got. I'm excited to try them on. Hopefully they fit. I Ooh, that lady really like, oh, I was gonna, she's like, no. Why is she assigned to work the fitting rooms? I don't understand, that makes no sense. Then they're not open. It's not like she's sorting through clothes. She's literally just sitting in the fitting room to make sure nobody goes in the fitting rooms. Why are there fitting rooms? Every single time I go there. Oh, I just wanna try it on, like, ugh. Anyway, I tried on everything over my clothes, like everybody else in the store. You gotta do what you gotta do. So here's a time lapse of me putting all my stuff away. So now let me show you what I got at Walmart. Okay, so first I got this crop sports bra thing. I got it in the large Nobo, the No Boundaries sports bra cropped. I really like this. This is really comfortable and I like how the back is full. I hate when it has that cross back. It just like chunks your fat in. Hello? Oh, then I got this purple No Boundaries shirt and I believe a medium. This is very, like, I like this. And then last but not least, I got this men's shirt. It's also no boundaries. I got this in the five, no, the three XL. And it's just a really comfy pajama shirt. Like a comfy, cute pajama shirt. What the hell? Okay, what is this? What? Oh no. Oh my God, how did it get like this? I'll wash it, I'm sure it will come out. Anyway. I'm gonna try to make that broccoli cheddar soup right now. I just remembered, I don't know how to cook. Well, I'll use this whole onion, I guess. Okay, so now I am sauteing the, the onion and the garlic in the, the pot. It was supposed to be a large pot. I don't have a large pot, but I don't think I cut that small enough. Okay, whatever. Add the potatoes, carrots, cashew, broth, nutritional yeast, smoked paprika, and salt. I just put the cashews right in there. We boil the cashews right in the pot. Interesting. This is my second two cups. Okay. Then oh, I should have put those in before the broth. Why did I do that? Oh, now it's been flush everywhere. <sighs> this is why I was almost on Worst Cooks America. Now I'm adding smoked paprika. That's too much, but what can you do? I'm just a crazy girl. Now I'm realizing that I do not have a big enough pot for this, but we're gonna make it work. So this is what it looks like right now. I mean, the color of my, I'm using my phone right now. The color looks different on my phone than it does in person. I'm supposed to be letting it simmer. I accidentally put the cheese in first, but it's starting to get that color. It doesn't look like it on the camera though, but 
Yeah, it's starting to look more like what we need it to look like. Okay, so now we are three years into the future. I was letting it simmer for like an hour and a half. I forget that soup is a commitment and that's probably why I don't make it that often. Okay, now it's time. <laughs> Let's try it. <gasps> it's dripping, oh my god. It's really hot. That's hot. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna try it. Too hot. Oh my god. Okay! That is a good soup. Oh my god! I made soup by myself! And a recipe from the internet. But I'll link that down below for you guys if you want to see it or if you want to do it for yourself, especially if you're vegan. Unless, or if you're not vegan, you want to try it. You gotta follow your heart. Follow your heart. I'm the kind of person, I don't wait till things cool down. I just risk it all because I'm hungry. For now, today, thank you for, for tagging along with me. It's been a journey. I'm gonna cry. I'm about to hit, have like a manic episode. When I go too long without eating, I start to get a little manic. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna eat now. Thank you guys for tagging in with me all day today. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking and subscribing. I freaking love you guys, and for now, that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you in the next one.